Howdy y'all, hope y'all is doing good today. I can't hear this stuff anyway, so I'm gonna take that off. Maybe I can hear myself. Be like talking to myself instead of you guys in front of me, cause you know, I get the stage fright. I don't know why that happens, but I do. And and today I kind of don't have anything. I have a, if I get the balls enough to do it, I have a song that I've been writing in front of me, but uh, I'm just feeling weird today and it's all the cancer thing. Well, it's all the, it's all what's happened since I have got diagnosed with cancer and what's been happening with me. And uh, I've been afraid to tell you guys some stuff just because it's been so strange. Like the whole, whatever, whatever's happening to me right now, I've been so scared to tell you guys forever that I'm unable to work. I mean, seriously unable to work. And I don't think I can anymore. I've, and I've been so, so scared about this because I, of the whole social media thing, I was in IT and I know that sometimes bosses go out and look at your social media. So I've been scared to post things about what I think gave me the cancer and what I think gave me the cancer was working. And I, I don't know how I know that, but it's like the pressures of society got to me and I'm pretty sure that that's why I got the cancer. And I always said that it, this was never about the physical part of the cancer, that I'm strong enough to beat that. And I'm feeling like I am still, I'm feeling like it more and more every day. Um, and results seem to go along with that. So, you know, until I get my next scans, I got one more on Monday and then uh, they're, they're trying to get the scans scheduled um, for October. Uh, um, but yeah, man, the whole thing has just been weird because I I realized when they quote unquote broke my brain that there was no way I could ever go back to that. And I could not admit that to anyone just because how do you do that and then survive in life? Well, that's going to bring me to my next point. How do I do this? Because it seems like I'm being guided to do this whole music thing. And that was, I think, part of the driving force about the... Uh, you know, I want the thousand subscribers things because that is one of the societal things. It is something that uh, as a company, YouTube set as a goal for to get the possibility to get monetized. And that was me freaking out and going, oh, my God, what am I going to do for money? Um, so that was part of the impetus for it. But it's also changed since then, because like I said, you guys are like my my shrink a lot of times. And I thank you because, you know. I, I get to do this sometimes and, and this is amazing to me because it gets it out. And I also hope that this helps other people, hope other people that have gotten cancer and who are unable to do things because that's also was part of the, the purpose of me starting this was uh, one of the things that was totally in my head was people need to know. People need to know what happens to you when you get cancer. And I don't know if this happens to everybody, but it made me realize that society was breaking me. And it exploded my brain into everybody else. I thought society was breaking everyone else too. And I, it's like the planet is killing themselves because of all these dumbass things, these dumbass pressures we put on ourselves. And all the pressures that I put on myself were nothing that I ever wanted. It was all things that other people, the, 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 the things that other people said would get me the success that I was, that I wanted. And the success I want is completely different. I, I, I don't like money. I really do think money is evil, and but you need it, you know. I mean, I, 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 how do I get these? You know, how do I get this place that I live? How do I get the food that's in my stomach? You have to have money. But to me, that is what is. Everybody's praying to the wrong god. Everybody's praying to the god of money these days. Again, like I said, they broke my brain, man. Um, and that was what I was thinking. Um, so I don't know how to resolve all these things. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do what I feel like I'm being called to do. And that has become a musician. How, that, that's crazy. How do you go from being, uh, go, well, for one, working in restaurants to uh, then going to, to being a, a, a computer technician to, to you know, now I'm doing this. Wait, what? I mean, this is just so bizarre. I have no idea how to do any of this stuff. Anybody that can give me any, any insight into how to do any of this, man. And you know where I'm at? I'm, I'm learning still. I'm seriously learning. Um I think I, I really do think that my forte will be in the design and building and just customizations of 
of guitars. I the and like I said before, the guitar playing is so that I can have some some credentials in presenting these things to people. It's like how do you present this to? I don't know how Leo Fender did it. He never learned to play the guitar, but he did this. I mean, and to more of my amazement because I don't like strats very much, but knocked it out of the park. Come on now. Um, you can do so much with these things um, from an engineering standpoint and from a technical standpoint. That's kind of why uh, I, the, the fenders, I think I dig them because that is more how my life used to be, the technical part of it, you know. And I love that part of it. And it's helped me, it's helped me to become a better guitar player to learn how guitars work like down to the to the to even less than a millimeter man um and it's it, it's just amazing to me how uh, how just a millimeter can change the tone the the feel the everything of a guitar and you just got to get it right and i'm rambling again if you could like comment and subscribe that would be awesome i think that is this has already been a commercial for all that but uh but also, I've always wanted to be a songwriter. I'm going to try this real quick. I don't know if I have the balls, but... Uh... Said I was with a beautiful smile Let me take you away for a while Maybe I'll to a movie or take you to show you Just to take you to a little bit of a girl Said I was what you're doing to me I look in the mirror and who do I see? as far as I got um, and Stephanie my friend Stephanie the amazing author um, if you ever see this this is what I was talking about but I get so far at this point in time and can't finish them so you know if you have anything that uh, you want to contribute please you're an actual author and words come to you so you know or at least you force them to come to you because you're amazing um, but yeah man uh, that, that's these things I'm working on and this is all you're seeing me in the middle of all this and 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 uh, there is a, I think a goal but I don't know what it is I really don't I'm I'm clueless and I'm like oh my gosh I don't know what to do and it scares me every day it terrifies me every day um. I think I'll stop there I think I've rambled on enough I think I've confused myself and you guys enough so Hopefully somebody will watch this. Maybe somebody will, will give me some uh, amazing advice. Maybe, you know, uh, whatever. I don't know. I, I have no idea what's going on in the future. I have no idea. And I'm just uh, here every day. And I'm going to try every day. And I'm going to get up and thank God I'm here every day. And, you know, thank God that, that down there is feeling better every day. And that uh, it appears that we're taking care of this. And I'm just so grateful for everything. But it's just so bizarre. And I'm still trying to figure it out. And all I want is just maybe some help trying to figure it out. Anyways, I hope you all are having a great day. Always look up. He's there for you. And I will see you then. Peace.